If you're very, very lucky tonight, you're going to be seeing the new film from Peter Strickland. It's not released in the UK until the end of February, February the 20th. So you'll get a nice advanced screening. Um, I don't actually work for the festival. I actually work for the company that have released all of Peter's films, um, Artificial Light. And we're really, pr I'm not uh, there on their behalf, but we're really proud to be working with Peter. We released Catalin Varga, we released Bavarian Sound Studio, and we're going to release Duke of Burgundy next year, as I said. And I think it might be one of, uh, I think it's probably his, his best film. Um, it's really, How it's can a really. You say that? <laughs> You're sitting there. I've got to say it. Um, I just think I saw it in Toronto at the film festival. Uh, I've seen it a couple of times subsequently. It really does need second viewing. So advance book for Feb 20 uh, when it comes out. The only other thing I want to say quickly is I was at a preview screening of a new documentary yesterday on Nick Rogue. Um, and a lot of the things that the contributors were saying that Nick Rogue is unique amongst British filmmakers in that his films look like they couldn't have been made by anybody else. Um, Nick Rhodes probably my favourite director, but I think Peter's films are also unique in the same way. And these films also remind me of somebody like Nick Rhodes films in the way that there's an equal attention to sound and vision, not just the soundtrack, but the actual sounds that you're hearing in the film. And this is something that um, you should pay attention to in this film. Uh, we're very lucky, as I said, Peter's here. He's going to be joining us afterwards. Also here is the film's producer, Andy Stark, who's... Um, Got a long track record, also works with Ben Wheatley. Um, Peter's literally just flown in from Hungary. He's got a glass of whiskey, but he's gonna come on and tell some jokes. So come on, Peter, come on, say a few words. Uh, actually, he doesn't need a second viewing. He needs a third and fourth viewing, so you know, please book ahead. Um, I'm not, there's no point saying much because I guess you need to see the film first. Um, so I, I feel I've done this for like a month or so now, and I feel I'm turning into a, an agony aunt and dealing with people's relationship problems. So yeah, we can talk about that if you like. Um, but yeah, let's just watch it and um, let's take a look. Yeah.